There are local myths relating to Lewinet Cove House, better known as Baker's Folly, that are self-perpetuating and hopefully this short video will illustrate that not all of these are true. This interesting building, constructed by Frederick Baker during the early part of the 20th century, has been named locally as Baker's Folly, as it only gets a limited amount of sun, and that Fred Baker bought this land on the wrong side of Pentire Headland. It appears that Fred Baker was amused by this, and on him being questioned by a visitor to Newquay, if he knew anything about Baker's Folly, he replied, I am Baker. Fred bought the land at Newquay in July 1910 with a view of building a Romanesque villa based on one he had seen in Italy and then brought over Italian builders to build it. Construction started and rock was blasted from the cliff to create a level base for the villa and building materials were brought over from Italy. The swimming pool Italian courtyard was constructed first but with the First World War starting Building ceased and according to newspapers did not recommence until after 1926. He was, it is said, planning of, to build a further property on the south side of Pentire Head with a connecting tunnel cut through the rock between the two buildings. He started a north facing property first and eventually completed this about 1927. The southern property and tunnel were never built and an offer of by him to buy more land at Pentire was refused. Frederick Baker was born in 1862 in Turkey, coming from a wealthy family. His father had emigrated to Constantinople, now Istanbul, and later set up in business. Fred returned to England in 1876 to finish his education and never returned to Turkey, becoming a successful lawyer and financier in London. He married Winifred Rickard and they went on to have four children. It is said that Fred Baker made and lost fortunes, but he was generous and hospitable to Newquay folk and helped support the building of the Newquay Hospital during the 1930s. The short film clip at the end of this video is, we believe, a fundraising event hosted at the Lewinick Cove House during the mid-1930s. Fred's wife Winifred died in 1946 and Fred remarried to a long-term lady friend with whom he'd been having an affair 12 days later. After Fred's death in 1949, the family continued to live at Lewinick Cove House until it was put up for sale with all its contents in 1950. It was then used as a members country social club for a short while afterwards been converted into apartments and sold during the early 1960s. Perhaps the folly of this building was not that it was built on the wrong side of Pentire Headland, but that Fred's ambitions were perhaps greater than his wallet could afford, and the proposed tunnel and building on the sunny south side of Pentire was just a step too far. More information on Baker's Folly with information about Fred Baker and his family can be found on our website. Thank you.